Fitz Rogers of Denver, Iowa, wants others to know of the dangers that can come with burning leaves. After suffering severe burns himself, he's now raising awareness regarding fire safety. KCR GTV 9's Libby Randall joins us live in the studio with his journey. It was one of those instances that many don't think will happen to them. That's what Rogers thought in the moments leading up to an accident that changed his life. I was out burning leaves and brush and I was kind of damp and windy that morning. It's a chore many are used to around the fall, but in an attempt to make it more efficient, led James Rogers to the emergency room. So I tried getting the fire going and I couldn't, so I went and got some gas. The small fire flashed up and on to Rogers. He suffered third degree burns covering 90% of his body. The first of his nearly 40 surgeries took place three days after the accident. Lucy Wibbenmeyer, a burn surgeon at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, told his family treatment for his types of burns has to go just right. She says, quote, I told them it's going to be touch and go, and it's going to be touch and go for a while. And it was. He'd get better, and then he'd get worse. It was as severe as burns get without passing away. Surgeons are amazed by his recovery. After eight months at UIHC and another four in rehab, he's back to his home life, still working to gain back the range of motion he had before. And in the meantime, he advocates for burn safety. We're always told to stop, drop, and roll when you're in that situation. But that doesn't work when you're covered in gas. Never use gas to light any type of fire and always be careful and, and aware of what could happen. Other tips to stay safe, only burn leaves away from a house or other structures and keep the burn pile small and manageable and burn on clear days with little to no wind. In studio, Libby Randall, KCRG TV 9 News.